I tried to press the buttons but they don't light up so I'm not sure hello welcome back to my channel so in today's video we can finally install our trigger 4 plus uh, controller uh, on our 2021 Toyota RAV4 uh, the reason for the delay on this one is I'm waiting for my power block uh, to arrive uh, it's been a while uh, and I've been searching for this one also and they just got it in stock and yep so with this one what's nice about this is I can keep my pose by using an, another pose basically so yeah so this is nice I like it and it will clean up the wires uh, connected on my battery terminal so this will basically it's a power block all right so let's proceed with the install okay so first we're going to remove the negative uh, terminal our connection uh, to the battery which I already did now we're gonna work on removing the positive uh, terminal so that we can put our distribution block hopefully there will be no issue on putting that so let's proceed there you go now let's try to put the distribution block let's see if it will work I don't know okay so I removed this one out so that I can um, tighten this properly in here and then we can proceed with the actual install uh, I have a tight space putting or gonna be screwing this in there so that might be an issue uh, because the way the battery is designed I'm not gonna have any this is recessed so I don't have enough space so we'll find out how can we secure this properly yeah so it should be easy all right be right back okay so I completely installed the power distribution block here so I'm just gonna cover that and now with the trigger this is the trigger 4 plus has four leads 230 amps and 210 amp so yeah so we're gonna position this one in here that's the plan let's position it somewhere here and then just run the wires in here so I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the yellow uh, for now probably not yet but we're gonna connect the positive and negative well to the power block and we're just gonna make the eye the eyelet M just connected in there all right so let's proceed okay so the trigger is connected to the battery now so I got the remote I got the battery also let's check if it will do anything I tried to press the buttons but they don't light up so I'm not sure the controller is a little flimsy so I don't see any light in here so I'm not sure what's going on so I don't have anything connected but battery is connected this battery is connected for sure and nothing so I don't know let's see what's going on okay so I made a mistake so I need to connect the yellow 
uh, to ignition or directly to the battery. So I kind of cover it just to make sure it doesn't touch anything. So I still need to connect this one out in there. Uh, so I have to disconnect my negative battery to connect this. All right, so be right back. Okay, so make sure you read the user guide uh, so that you won't have any mistakes like me. But yeah, so I connected the yellow wire and the positive also. Uh, just that's temporary. I'm gonna put that into ignition uh, in the future. Uh, so this connected, let's try if it will do anything. So, uh, I don't see anything yet. There you go. So there's lights. There you go. So we initiate it. So as you can see. So that's the last button, the fourth one. Third second and the first one so yeah so it works and just for the heck of it let's connect uh, I have a cheapo uh, light bar in here it's a small light bar the from Z moon so they send that to me for free so we're just gonna hook that one in just for testing I'm not using it it's somewhere here in the garage so let's check it out Okay, so this is just for testing purposes, so I just kind of wired that, improperly wired it, so connect it, there you go. So it's number 4, so we can press the number 4 in here and it will light up. We can press it also again to turn it off. So now let's try the remote. So let's see, nice, it's like instant. It is instant. Look at that. Hmm? Almost no delay on switching. Yeah, so this is nice. It's going to help. And also, you can use the app on this one on the phone. Let me pair it. Be right back. Okay, I told you guys, read the instructions. So yeah, so it's 000 for the passcode or the default one. Then let's just put one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. Huh, did you see that? It kind of lit up. So let's check number four. Dang, okay, so you have the strobe function. You can dim it? No. Oh, yeah, you can dim it. That's nice. I like this function. Then if you want to strobe, turn it off. It's like instant also. I like it. Of course, we're not going to use the flicker or the strobe function. But it's nice. I like it. So yeah. So if you want to purchase this particular product, I'll put the link in the description below. If you want to purchase the Z Moon light bar, I'll put that in the description below. Uh, I'm, I'm not personally going to use that. I'm going to give that away. So if you're interested, uh, just pay shipping and I'll send it your way. All right. So again, basically that's it. I'll hook up my ditch light on my next video. All right. If you haven't subscribed, Please subscribe and thank you for watching.